I'm a better tree than Andy Gabs. <laughs> My mustache is also nicer. I'm not jumping over the chair today. For the safety of the creator of these videos, I think it's a good idea. If you saw the pants I was wearing, yeah. My buddy Austin from Ball and Chain Constrictors came and visited us, and we pulled an all-nighter, stayed up feeding snakes and playing with snakes and, you know, extracurricular activities. So I didn't want to, I don't know, this video was going to be kind of all over the place. I want my videos to have a story this year, like I have a nice story from beginning to end. There was a clip of him holding my Super Dwarf Reticulated Python, and it was really cool cinematography, but it didn't go with the story at all, but I figured I'd throw it in anyway. And right before we get into this video, I wanted to see if any of you guys have tried out the Freedom Breeder Cocoa Blocks yet. Because I've been using it, I like the really big bl uh, brick, big chunks, big brick chunks that are in it. And I'm just curious if anybody else out there has tried it yet. There's going to be a link down in the description. It'll be the first link there if you guys want to pick some up. Free shipping. And then maybe we'll do a review later and see how people like it. And maybe do a giveaway on a couple blocks or something. We'll see what happens. But go ahead and check out that link down below. And let me know if you've used it or if you're going to try it. Or if you have tried it and what you think about it. Because we want to get some feedback on this stuff. We paid pretty high quality. Paid for the high quality. So... I've been working on my studio lighting back here too, trying to figure out, making sure this whole setup is nice and is very aesthetically pleasing for you guys to watch. I hope that it is. We're still working on it. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the of the whole everything going on back here with all the the lights and the warm tones and the cool tones. Just playing with it. It's fun for me. And uh, yeah, here's a, that clip of Austin holding my super dwarf. Morning friends and family, how are you wonderful beautiful people doing today? My buddy Austin is in town and we're going to do some stuff. He came down here to pick up some stuff for me or down here. He came up all the way from San Diego, long haul. Woo! And we're still hauling, still hauling. <laughs> but yeah, he's coming, he came to pick something up for me. We're gonna hang out, take advantage of the fact that he's up here, maybe go take the boys to the beach and possibly have Austin feed some really large snakes since he does have large constrictors. They're just not large yet, right? Yep, they're baby larges. Baby large, baby large snakes on their way to being baby <laughs> big snakes. <laughs> <laughs> See if we get some practice in there. But hey, welcome to uh, Feeling It Out Friday. Feel it. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> So I've had this thing in here since we moved back from Hawaii, basically. I got this thing and I've it's just been sitting there. I've been needing somebody to come and get it and take it off my hands. Austin is thankfully doing that. If you want to find out exactly what he is getting, then you need to go to the link in the description for Austin's channel and he's going to be putting up what he's getting on his channel. You guys can go check it out. Hopefully he'll have some nice content for you over there too. I'm gonna to make sure he does actually. Austin, you gotta have some good content for these people to come check out, all right? Yeah, you guys got it. You guys got all right, it. all right, he's got it, all right. <laughs>
Hey Noah. Hey, hey Noah. What? what do you know? I know. Where is Eli? <laughs> what, what, what about where Eli is? I want to know where he is. There he is. <laughs> hey Eli. What? what? Do you know? So pretty and that's what I know. What? So as you can tell, it's a beautiful day down here at the beach. We haven't been down this way for quite some time. Been stuck in the house, it's been raining a lot, and I've just been working on lots of video and website stuff and just you know all kinds of all kinds of stuff other than getting outdoors going to the gym every day too mushy where are you going so really nice to be able to get out for a little while and come down and take a load off just hang with the fam austin and his girl had to take off there they have a long drive ahead of them i hope you guys get home safe we did actually feed snakes last night so here's some footage of austin feeding <laughs> austin has never fed big snakes before He's going to feed my big snakes now. You got you got big snakes that you're gonna feed eventually. So this will be a good mm -hmm. little little warm up for you. I'm hoping this will be comical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be that would be nice. I would appreciate comedy. You did a good job. You did a good job. Thanks. Good job. It was it was uneventful. That's what we were hoping for. Well, uh, kind of. So I'd like to know from you guys. So I'd like to know from you guys. Where is a place that you go, where you feel that you just get back in touch with nature, or you just get grounded, get centered, realign your soul with the universe, whatever, whatever look or feel it gives you. Uh, I'm especially curious for people that don't live near the ocean because for me the ocean is a simple place to get grounded <clears throat> a simple place to make myself feel small again in the world so for those of you guys that are that are far from the ocean you know inland Cal uh, United States or anywhere anywhere inland where do you guys go what do you guys do to get grounded again I'm curious
I can see everything. So as I was, as I was sitting here filming this time lapse, I realized that it's been a while since I just unplugged completely. While I sat here at the time I was filming, I didn't have my phone here, sitting in the car. And I think it's just important to take a moment to unplug from time to time and not really be plugged in, you know, watching other YouTube videos, doing Instagram posts, Facebook, chatting messages, doing emails, being on the computer, editing a video. Take a moment to just unplug from everything. It's, uh, I think it's important, something to think about.